All right, fam, this is not good. So we were just in this cemetery right here, and it closes at dusk. I mean, you can see it's starting to get dark out. We got locked. Uh, hopefully... Oh, shit. What is up fam, welcome to another adventure. My name is Omar, today I have Tiffany with me. And we're not only at a cemetery, a haunted cemetery. Now you know me, the only way I would bring you to a cemetery is if it has a really good backstory. Actually a couple of cool stories, but the main story is about a stairway that goes to the grave. I wonder why no one's living in this house. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's right across the street from a haunted cemetery. Can I drive in there? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Would be cool to come and visit at nighttime, but see what the sign says? 7 a.m. to dusk. And they do have gates, which I'm sure they close up at nighttime. Yep, with locks. All right, fam, so we're in this little town of Mississippi. It's really pretty out here. Uh, now we have to find it. Are there any numbers? Uh, it's between there? 19 and 27. Okay. You know, like, when we went to Ed and Lorraine's, like, we looked up the actual coordinates to it? Uh -huh. and have that for that, for this? I don't know. Oh, is that the, is that the angel? Oh, that might be the angel. That turn and look at you? No, I don't know if that's it. So... There's a story here also, it's it's called the Turning Angel, and one of those angels supposedly moves. You want to get out and look at it? Yeah, it says that it moves and it watches the cars as it goes by. And then that one has a child, and it did say something about an explosion. Right, it was right? five girls that died. This is one of the interesting stories right here. Supposedly this angel watches over five graves. This is a beautiful cemetery. Okay, I don't think this is the turning angel. Uh, oh, there goes her. Okay, that is the turning angel. Um, yeah, these aren't these aren't the turning angels. It's looking like we're at the turning angel. For some reason, I feel like that was it over there. Where? I've just seen. You just seen an angel? All the way on the other side over there, though. The wings are down on the turning angel. It's on the other side over there. See it? That is it. This is such a big deal that it's even called Turning Angel Pass. So, yeah, it's right over there. Now, the story behind this, March 14th, early 1900s, I believe it was like 1908, there was a gas explosion in a basement of a drug company but there was five young girls that were killed and the employer of these young girls was so sad that he paid for their their burials and i believe he paid for that angel to to watch over their their grave so let's have a closer look so there's the turning angel and you'd have to imagine she would have to turn her head that way because this is the the actual street where people have reported seeing the angel turned memory of the unfortunate employees who lost their lives in the great disaster that destroyed its building on march 14th 1908 that's my birthday by the way and there's there's the young ladies that lost their lives but they certainly did not lose their souls their souls live on and here's where their bodies rest. Netterville, Worthy, White, 
and Booth. Wow, she was only 12 years old. These are really young girls. 17. 22 was the oldest. Yeah, 17, 19, 12, 17, and 22. May you guys rest in peace till we meet again in heaven one day. I like all the birds. I know. Love hearing the birds chirping. Now, here's the thing. Cemeteries, they do get a little creepy at nighttime. I have been to cemeteries during the day that were still creepy. You know, like the, the Devil's Chair. Spring Hill Cemetery is always creepy during the day, too. I don't get that creep feeling here, though. But that may change when I show you what I'm about to show you here in a second. You ready to see? Mm -hmm. does have some pretty sad history. I think it's sad. It is sad. Like hearing how it I mean, this was really it sad. It is. But, like, hearing how that one is, like, as mm -hmm. a mom, as a parent. Yeah. All right, let's go. I have never seen a headstone like that. Look how pretty that is. 1863. It's probably where that angel is right over there. So as I was pulling in here, I thought I heard what sounded like people talking. I don't see anybody. I thought there was gonna be people here. Like I mentioned to you, you've never seen a grave like this. Now, the reason why this grave is so unique is that there's stairs that go down to where the body's laid to rest. Okay, yeah, you can see where they covered it in. Where, okay. So. Yeah, there used to be a glass down there, and the head of the little girl is this way. Oh, look, look what it says here. Oh, we got my parents. Not long, we probably. For the beauty, for the beauty, ascendant your daughter doth shine, doth shine, but dry up your tears and prepare soon to come to join in the praise of the Father and Son. Mm -hmm. So guess how old this grave is? From 1890. Am I right? 1871, close. Okay, close. Yeah, really close. Now there's the angel that I was talking about. You want to go down there? You can go. Okay, so the reason for these stairs at this grave is because, well, first of all, let's start with the story. In 1871, there was a little girl by the name of Florence Irene Ford that passed away from yellow fever. Yellow fever was a pandemic. A little girl was only 10 years old and she used to get really scared during thunderstorms. And I mean, here in the South, we get really bad thunderstorms. The mother, Ellen, used to comfort her daughter during these storms because she would come to her. She had this built with the trap door so then when thunderstorms would, would happen here, she can close the trap door and be down there with her daughter, singing her songs, reading her books, comforting her during the storm. Yeah, even after she passed away. Now there was a glass that separated you know where the casket was mother would go down there and, and talk to her her deceased daughter and in the 1950s they concreted the glass to prevent people from doing vandalism here at the property so what we're seeing right there is where the glass was you want to go down there with me Thinking of the mother just sitting here, weeping and talking to her daughter, I just, I don't know. There's a cousin of mine, I have mentioned it in vlogs. Uh, her name was Casey and she passed away from breast cancer 
in 2017 and her mother uh, my aunt she i mean i don't think you could ever recover from that i don't know it's just really sad please say a prayer for for my aunt her name is teresa there's no greater pain than to lose a not only a loved one but a child that's that's got to be tough and not being able to to do anything about it i mean today like modern age medicine i mean we have things for yellow fever is, is there a vaccination for yellow fever look I'm, i i didn't <laughs> want to interrupt you because uh -huh. you were talking but look above your head what oh it's like rocking and it is dead heat out here wait did i touch that no it's i didn't touch that not on your way look, Whoa. i promise you okay so i did not touch that and that's moving and Tiffany was recording that. I didn't want to interrupt her talking. Oh, it's okay. But look, down here in Florence Irene's grave, I mean, people have left gifts. This is something that's iconic, this part of Mississippi. I mean, this, I'm sure the locals really embrace the history. I mean, we're talking a long time ago. What's down here, too? Tons of change. There's a really big coin here. I wonder what that is. What is this? Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Do you want to close that trap door? No, it's it's closed into the floor. Oh, you can't close it? No, they did that on purpose because they said that they wanted to make sure it stayed open so that people can still go down there and visit her daughter. Okay. 1871. Like, that's how old, you know, this concrete is. In. I mean, even that headstone looks, it looks really good. You could read everything on it. Did you see the front of it? Uh-uh. It's really like, it's just, it's so little. No, it's a 10 year old. I mean like the, cause they have it like where it comes out in the front. That's like our Boston. Hey, don't take that well, back right I'm now. Just, no, I'm just saying like that's, she was almost I his age. I understand, but just, no. That's terrible. Florence, I'm gonna see you one day in heaven. And your mom, Ellen, we love you. Appreciate being able to come here and visit you. I'm really sorry that you were taken so soon from us and you weren't able to live your life, but I'm sure she's living a way better life than us right now Our in paradise. Washington. Washington? Washington and Ellen. Washington was a really popular name back in those days. I keep feeling like there's somebody looking at me right there. It's, it's the, the angels are watching us really wanted to show you this it's definitely unique I've never seen a grave like this now there is some haunted history too tied to this cemetery I'm not sure if there's anything tied to this particular spot where Florence Irene is buried I mean I could imagine so because a lot of people have been where I'm at right now and I'm sure they use Ouija boards I'm sure they did some weird stuff, okay. conjured up some evil. I mean, that happens sometimes. So, yeah, be careful playing with, with stuff like that. This is a hotel card? Yeah, it's probably what somebody had. That's okay. probably the only thing they had to leave. Yeah, that's the Mississippi River. And this cemetery actually neighbors the Mississippi River, which is really cool. There's some rocks there, stuffed animal. It's a, Isn't that called a Pegasus? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not Looks a like unicorn. Left an earring. Oh wow. Or a ring or something up there. Oh. What is that? That was me. Oh. That was my stomach. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, what is this? Looks like a face. <gasps> Did you hear that? It was like a whoa. <laughs> All right, guys, we're the only ones here at this cemetery. Well, is that full moon? Yeah, it is. It's starting to get dark out. What is all that shouting I'm hearing? All right, guys, it's starting to get dark here at the cemetery. It was really peaceful when we first got here, but we're hearing all this shouting. That's a dog. Hear that? Listen. So still and hot. It is. Like, it's a little muggy. There's not any bit of wind none which is good for videoing Listen. you hear it again oh. 
You know what it kind of like has the vibes of? What? Like somebody being lost in the woods and like hound dogs going to find them. Tons of offerings here for little Florence, daughter of Washington and Ellen II Ford. Well, she died one day before Halloween. And she was born on, in 1861, died 1871. As bright and affectionate a daughter as ever, God with his image blessed. I've never seen blessed spelled that way. B L E S T? Or does that say something else? No, it says blessed instead of blessed. All right. Wish I could come at night because it'd be a lot creepier. I was hoping I could close that up on me, but it's. Let me see if it closes. Oh, look, it does. Oh, wow. Look, you can actually close it. Okay. Dude, that is so heavy. All right, yeah, I. I'm not going to mess with that. Can we just admire this gate? Yeah, the like, gate's beautiful. This is a really nice gate. They used to bury people in style back in the day. I mean, they really did. The steps to Florence is right behind Tiffany right there. I started doing a little bit of research and somebody said that they brought a lady here and she went down the same steps that I went down and she came up screaming, scared, and she had this green glow around her. The young woman told Estes how a cemetery worker at the time witnessed the glow. After a few minutes, it began to fade. The worker bent down and scooped it off, making a ball he could hold in his hands. He later released it into the air when it went up, sparkled, and disappeared. Okay, this is on the NatchezDemocrat.com, and you could read this story. Supposedly, this is haunted, and her grave over there is haunted. Now, the gentleman that brought the woman here to go down to Florence Irene's grave, he didn't believe in ghosts at all until that day where he brought a lady here, and she came out with this green glow. Did I have that green glow? No. <laughs> I want that green glow. But she came out screaming. Who knows what happened to her? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the moon. And I swear by the moon and the stars at the cemetery. <laughs> you know, when I come to a cemetery, I always think of all the tears that have been shed here, you know, throughout the years. I mean, so Wait. many tears. Why does it show a person walking? What does that mean? Where? Right here on the camera. Um, that's, that's just a setting, like, I don't know, I, I really don't, yeah, it does show a person walking, but on, on our settings here, yeah, I don't see anybody walking, though, maybe it's just a movement, detecting movement. You know what? Dude, I just got something. I know why the woman was glowing. Why? Florence Irene was real close to her mom. Maybe it was a mom thing. That's why you should probably go down there. No, I'm okay. Well, you don't want to go down there, no. but you're a mom. That's okay. You should read her a story or something. I'm okay, babe. You're so cute, though. That's nice. Okay. So Look if get your sweat. It is, it is really humid out here. If you're a mom out there, tag me on Instagram. I want to see maybe you reading a story, maybe during a storm. But you can't close that. Bring an umbrella. Bring an umbrella. Read Florence Irene Ford a story, maybe sing her a song, and tag me in it. I'd like to share it. In a future video. What's leaking? Now well, Tiffany just noticed this right now. What do you think it is? It's something that was from the, on the top it looks like. Hmm. Is it a candle or something? Or maybe this was destroyed and they put it back together? I don't know. Let me know what you think that could be. Wow. Brown. Oh, babe. What was that? What? What was that noise? 
That was me. I went. No, it was before that. Oh, I don't know, but look. I thought that's what you were gasping at. No, look, this is open. Looks like somebody maybe tried to get in there. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. And look, this one's open too. Or it broke. Oh, look at the little baby ones. Oh, no. No. Yeah, they used to do this for families. Just to keep them together and separated. Uh, look at that. That's a big family over there. All right, fam, this is not good. So we were just in this cemetery right here. And it closes at dusk. I mean, you can see it's starting to get dark out. We got locked. Uh, hopefully. Oh, Didn't see that coming. I mean, I thought that they would at least wait till. I mean, don't you think they would have. Eight o'clock at night or something. I mean, wouldn't they check the cemetery to make sure it's empty? Right. There is another gate. Hopefully that one's not locked up. Is it this way? Uh, Dude. Oh, this one's locked too. Oh my god. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. So. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hey, I'm looking at it. It's closed. Let me make sure if it's locked, locked though. We may be hanging out here at nighttime against our own will. Oh gosh, please. And, uh, uh, hold on, I might be able to slide this underneath here. Okay, yeah, we're locked in. I have a really good idea. We're gonna try the other one, come on. Okay, no, 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 that's not the idea I had. So, you're gonna pack up. You're gonna go really, really, really oh fast. Stop, Ariana. And then, okay, I'm just kidding. This video is not over. I think we should just. I'm gonna fight you. I, I think we should enjoy our time here at nighttime. I mean, this is a really good opportunity. A situation. It's not like we. I question. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not like we intentionally stayed here or anything. We were trying to get out. They should have a time. They, they should, should have a time. They should have a time, and they should do. Isn't oh. dusk when the sun goes down? Yes. And like the sun isn't even down no, yet. No, it's not. I'm scared. I originally did an outro to this video, but I guess it's still gonna go on and we're gonna have to do the outro. When you see the outro to this okay. video, depending whether or not we get out of here, it's gonna be during the daytime. More than likely a different intro because we stayed the whole night here. Well, the nice thing is we're in the car. We could spend the night in the car. You know, it wouldn't be the first time that I spent the night in a cemetery. Oh, what about there? It's is there locked. a little house? What, that's locked too? Yes. Here, go up to it, though. Wow, we didn't even get to explore this side. I've never been locked inside of a cemetery before. Maybe there's somebody we can call. Like the police? They literally probably just locked those doors. Oh, wait a minute. These don't have... Oh, go look. I think these ones are electronic. No. No, they're not. And they have... They have a chain. Amazing. <laughs> no. We're locked in a cemetery. A haunted one, too. Hey. I think we could... We could go in the grass. I think we can go in the grass. Huh, let me double check we don't go off a cliff or something. Oh gosh, yeah, no. Definitely go off a cliff here. I mean, we can kind of go this way. Nah. Yeah, that's a pretty steep drop there. Oh boy. Okay, that does look kind of cool though. The moon behind the cloud right there. Hey Tiff, look at the moon behind the cloud. 
Who else are we supposed to call? They ain't no number to Ghostbusters. I say we just stay here. Thank you for calling the city of Natchez Police Department. If you That's how you say it, Natchez. I was saying Natchez. Nine one one. County nine one one dispatch. Hi, um, I don't know who I'm supposed to call for this, but we're currently locked inside of the Natchez Cemetery, and we don't know who to call to let us out. <laughs> okay, we'll have to get an officer to that location. Okay, and which gate are you going to be in? Um, it's... It's the main gate. It's the main gate? It's yeah. The, yeah, it's the big main gate right when you come in. We've been trying to drive around and drive around trying to find another way out, but we can't find anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm be locked. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your name and what are you going to be in? We just got off the phone. With the non-emergency line, it said 911 dis dispatch. So. I know. <laughs> it, we did call originally a non-emergency phone number, but I guess the police officers here in the area have the keys to the cemetery. They're more than likely gonna come and arrest us for being here. I mean, they can't though. It was still daylight. It was still daylight. I mean, I, I feel like I they have, didn't do their due diligence. I have video proof that it was still daylight. It was around eight o'clock. And now it's, uh, we've been out here for about an hour trapped behind these gates. Not that, you know, it's a long time or anything. If you ever come to this cemetery, do not come at nighttime, okay? I mean, I was following the rules. I didn't know that they were going to lock us in so early. But, yeah, I wouldn't stay past 8 o'clock. It was a little bit after 8 when we decided to, to leave and we were locked in. This is dusk to me. This is dusk. An hour later. What's the definition of dusk? When the sun starts to go down is what I'm assuming. Okay. I think that's just somebody. Is that a spectator? It's a spectator. We already did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Thank you. They're like, you call the police. <laughs> I think this happens a lot to people. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> they coming to get us. Somebody come get her. <laughs> good, good. Uh, we were here like around, I want to say like 820. Eight. We came to the gates and they were all locked. Oh my God, I love his accent. He has a really cool accent. I mean, his accent's so cool because he's not going to arrest us. <laughs> he ain't open the gates yet. <laughs> well, I, I know, right? All right, sir, you're under arrest. <laughs> hey, there's like a flashlight on over there. What? Somebody in here? Where? Shut up. Are you serious? Well, I don't know. I see a light. Well, there's a light on the porch. Okay, okay. I thought I was a flashlight. Boy, oh, you can't know. This is probably the only time you're going to see inside of this cemetery at nighttime. And we did it. On accident. <laughs> on accident. Oh my god, he even has his light to win. Oh, he does? Why is he his <laughs> Oh, he's gonna arrest us. <laughs> so he has a key to the other gate, I guess. Yeah, I think he put the lights on so we know where to go. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Alrighty. <sighs> We're not out of the woods just yet. I would much rather be in the woods than in a cemetery. Well, I mean, this cemetery is kind of creepy though. Still hasn't. I'm actually glad that he had to turn lights on because I couldn't see. It. Yeah. Wait, which way is he gonna open them? Uh, so is it the cops that lock up the cemetery at night? Well, then they need to patrol. They need to look first. God, these roads just scared me. There's the turning angel right over there. They're looking at us like you're idiots. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you hold on your window for them? Yeah. Thank you so well, much. I was not it. trying to spend the night here. <laughs> We're not under arrest or anything, are we? <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you some footage of, you know, uh, when it was still daylight in there. And um, here it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I got to go for now before we leave. Kiss.